Igbo has dismissed the Northern Edda's claim that the purported silence of Igbo leaders in the ongoing security crisis in southeastern Nigeria implied support for the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, MASOP. The group, who described the comment in a press statement issued on Tuesday as fallacious and myth craftily designed for sinister motives by anti-Igbo exponents, said. The Secretary General organizing the Igbo fashion, Mazi Okechuku, stated that contrary to beliefs of Northerners or secessionist campaigns, the popularity of Biafra agitation by Igbo youth are based on the fallout of the systematic frustrations of the federal government, federal government discriminations against southeastern Nigeria. Unlike most Nigerian youth, Igbo youth are subjected to untold hardship, especially in the COVID-19 worsening economic era. In every 10 unemployed people, six are Igbo youth. Traders among them are frustrated either by an unfriendly government policies or host communities. Igbo leaders are not happy with the I don't understand for with the I I don't with the I don't care attitude. Sorry about that. Let me take it again. Igbo leaders are not happy with the I don't care attitude of the president or the limitations of the Southeast marginalization appear to have fallen on deaf ears of the presidency. As the federal government appears to be combat ready at any slightest hints of conflicts of interest in southeastern Nigeria, but appears powerless to the full-scale insurgency in northern Nigeria. The Oranese explained the two postures of the federal government being brutal in the southeast and sluggish in the north does not encourage peaceful coexistence. The two-faced behaviors of federal governments are the reason for secessionist confusion in the Middle Belt, Southeast, and Southwest regions. Igbo leaders and governors are not behind IPOP and are unhappy with the attacks on police formations and government facilities. But the happenings in the Southeastern Nigerian appear to be the hands of Esau and the voice of Jacob. It is sponsored solely to blackmail the Southeast Presidency and portray that Igbo should not be trusted with political power in 2023. It added, anti-Igbo exponents are unknowingly playing a historical role in the fulfillment of Nigerian President of Igbo Extraction 2023. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this some are of the opinion that the Igbo leaders have not seen anything yet, that they have been warning them before now about the tricks of the Northerners, but they refuse to understand that these people can never, ever give them presidency come 2023. And that is the reason why they are playing all these tricks on them. All right, someone said that, the Igbos by now should understand that the Northerners have hands in what has been happening. Ha, Igbo, someone just dropped this. You will suffer soon over your ungrateful and unappreciative behaviors. No leader have ever favored Southeast like the way Buhari did. I mean, no one. Even the Azikiwe, Jonathan never did anything to you. For 16 years of PDP, they were in government. They could not influence any meaningful projects to their region. But see Buhari that is building unbelievable projects, even when they rejected him. God Almighty will pay them in their own cause. You see, the reason why people are misunderstanding the old stuff, 
Nobody is talking about building of infrastructure or whatever. See, we are talking about the lives of, of the people. Poverty day, Nigerians, they manage life. But you cannot manage, you cannot manage insecurity. This is what everybody is talking about. People come to your house to slaughter, to slaughter, to slaughter people. You know, this is, this is just out of it at all. All right. Someone said, yeah, true talk. Oh, yes. Or well, unless the leadership seems to be living up to their responsibility and not the toothless bulldog posture it has been exhibiting. At least for once, or well, unless the leaders have taken a definite posture to help with your favor. But bear it in mind that in the next hundred years, we will be better ahead of you. Nigerians are reacting. I love your claims and intelligent presentation of what is on ground. You see, 72 boys from Nasarawa heading to Imo State, which if they were not caught by security agency, may be by next week, they become unknown gunmen and IPOP, IPOP, God, <laughs> IPOP God of Southeast will expose every evil plans against them. Sorry about that. The Igbos all over must take their destiny in their own hands because if Oranese continue with this, their book of lamentation, to as long as they can, this present administration cares not and is ready to reduce the Igbo race to nothing. Let all Igbos, irrespective of where you reside, have one voice and fight a common goal. Then their voice will be heard. But if he is singing pop music and B is singing raga, so on, so on and so forth, the enslaving of the Igbos in Nigeria will continue. The choice is yours, he said. Okay, someone said, onions looters. Yes, you have said it all, my brother. Upon all the good work Buari did for them, they are not grateful. Highways to Niger uh, Bridge, water and electricity all over the Igbo land, still, they are not happy <laughs> about what the federal government is doing. They are just concerned about the federal government's appointment. All right, someone said, uh, you see the reason why you people will die very early. Uh, is that what we are talking about? May God have mercy on this not on us. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.